right, in this video we're going to do a really quick overview of a couple of key ideas about what is calculus and how that is different from algebra. So one of the foundational ideas in algebra is looking at slope. And so you can look at a line and you could calculate slope. So you've got a couple points and you can calculate the change in y and the change in x and rise and run. You can calculate the slope of that line. Slope is change in y over change in x. But one of the important things that we're going to do with calculus is use the idea of slope of a line to then start to talk about slopes of curves. So if you look at this curve, one of the things that you might notice is there are some places where the curve is going uphill, where we see that the line is going uphill, and we might see a positive slope. There are other places where the line is going downhill, and so we might think about that part having a negative slope and then a very steep positive slope and then a steep negative slope and of course somewhere in between it changes from being steep to being more shallow and we've got different slopes at different places. So one of the main ideas of calculus is using the idea we have from algebra about slope of a line where that's the same everywhere on the line and it doesn't matter what points we use to now talk about slopes of curves. So we've got algebra and then being able to transition that idea to calculus. All right, so uh, one of the other big ideas of calculus is um, that in algebra and in geometry, we can look at some uh, fairly simple shapes and we might be interested in finding the area of this region. And so I've got a straight line here and straight X and Y axes and another straight line. And so even if you don't remember an area formula for this shape, you can divide this up just draw a little line across there and divide that up into a rectangle and a triangle, both of which should be pretty easy to find the area of. And you could find the area of that shaded region pretty easily just using basic algebra and geometry. With calculus, we might look at a more complicated region. So we have this same curve we were looking at before, and this time we have this region shaded where three sides of the region are straight lines, so those might be easy enough to think about, but the other side of this region is this curve. And so the basic idea is that we've got different sorts of things going on at different places on this curve, and we can use calculus to calculate an area of a region uh, that's a little bit more irregular. So calculus is basically using the ideas from algebra and geometry and transitioning those to more complicated regions and shapes.